same datum plane indicated on the print. Be sure to move the probe in only one axis during the measurement. Click Done after the hits are entered. The deviation is only 5 tenths and 90 millionths, which is acceptable for this surface. If the deviation were more than a thousandth, the surface should be remeasured to make sure the surface is flat with intolerance. In the menu at the bottom, click on Auto Name to store the value as Plane 1. The Plane 1 name and the value stored with it can now be recalled when the alignment is performed. The next datum on this piece is B. According to the print, B is located along the edge of the workpiece and can be represented as a line. Select Measurement again. Now select 2D Line. Two hits are required as a minimum. Three hits will be performed to establish a standard deviation calculation. The probe is touched off against the front edge of this piece. Be sure to touch off at the origin point of the three axes first, then touch off at two other points along the axes. This sets the correct direction for the axis. Click Done and the values are stored. Check the standard deviation to be sure it is less than one. To name the feature, click on Auto Name and the feature will be named Line 2D1. The third axis to be established is Datum D. Select Measurements again. Since Datum D is the center of a hole, the circle selection is used. While three hits must be taken to locate the hole center, four are taken to get the standard deviation. Click Done to complete the calculation. After the hits are completed, check the deviation. Auto name the feature and it will be Circle 1. Click Done to complete the process and return to the main menu screen. To complete the alignment, the computer must be told to use these reference surfaces as the axes for this next set of measurements. This will align the zero point on the CMM with the zero point on the workpiece as specified by the print.